approximately after uh, half an hour or hour, dependently on the amount of uh, liquid we've got in the distiller, we're going to get the first indication of spirit being condensed in the head of the distiller. So, for the convenience, I would recommend to, uh, after the spirit come up, for the first time you distilling, just uh, take a permanent marker and mark the level. So, for example, you're taking spirit out of this distiller and level dropping down, it means you're taking spirit too fast. So, in this case, uh, once we notice that spirit in a column, we have to let column uh, work for itself at least for five minutes. It will give the opportunity for all different spirits to form a queue inside the column and uh, after five minutes we can start to collect spirit. Uh, in this case uh, we cannot get more than 1.5 liters per hour. We can get more than 5.5 liters, uh, 1.5 liters per hour but it will affect the quality of the spirit. So uh, next step is just adjust the speed of collection of our spirit. So for this we would need this measuring glass and the simple clock. So we start to open this step very slowly. Once we open it, we just have to wait when the spirit come out. Don't try to you know to open it uh, completely and straight away, because if you open it too too much, the whole spirit will just get out of the coal, and we need some spirit to remain in the column for the proper work of the coal. So now we have the spirit coming out, and we have to measure the speed of the spirit coming out. Mm -hmm. So for the next step we have to use our clock and spirit uh, coming out, this uh, flow of spirit shouldn't exceed 12.5 uh, milliliters in uh, 30 seconds time. So for this purpose we have to wait when it will be convenient for us to start measuring. So we start it. So we've got 30 seconds time elapsed and we check in the amount of spirit we collected, it's only 10 milliliters, so we have to increase flow a little bit. So we adjusted our speed and we've got approximately 12.5 mils and 30 seconds time that will give us exactly one and a half liter of spirit in one hour time. So according to our guideline, we have to collect first 360 milliliters of methylated spirit, what we're doing right now, and we've got 1.5 liters per hour speed of our spirit. Uh, so this speed is supposed to remain until at least two-thirds of all expected spirits are going to be taken. Then we're going to decrease the flow twice because the amount of spirit is going to be decreased in a batch distiller and we would need some spirit to remain in our column that's why we're going to take the spirit a little bit slower so we collected our first fraction it's 360 mils of uh, methylated spirit and now we're ready to collect our middle fraction that will be approximately 180 mils of spirit that will contain methanol and other stuff uh, including ethanol as well. Uh, another one note when you moving around and shifting some spirit it's a good idea to use some small medium so 
in this case there is not going to be any spillage on the floor or on the table of sink and we are not going to lose any spirit. Now we almost got our 180 ml of uh, middle fraction. Uh, during the distillation uh, you have to be sure that water that coming out of uh, cooler is not that hot, it's supposed to be somewhere around 35-40 degrees maximum. And uh, now we can actually test our spirit that coming out to make it really sure that the quality of the spirit is really good. So we just get just few drops of spirit in a small glass, add a little bit of water and smell it, smell and test. If you still feel unpleasant test in your spirit, it's not really good. But in this case, it's okay, and we can start to collect it. It doesn't mean you have to test it constantly. You know, other way you're gonna get drunk. So. Uh, now we've got a uh, very important stage. We started to collect good spirit. And it's a good idea in this case to collect it by small portions, around 500 ml each, and uh, store these portions in a whatever container. By collecting small portions, we are avoiding the problem if, for example, suddenly bad spirit come out, and we get bad spirit in a small portion rather than bad spirit in a whole batch. So, each portion is supposed to be measured and recorded. And you have to match it with the amount of spirit you pre planned to take. Just for curiosity, we can measure the strength of the spirit we're having right now. shows us 95% but to get an exact me measurement we have to have a proper hydrometer and the temperature of the liquid is supposed to be 20 degrees centigrade so every time we're collecting the spirit we have to check what the amount of spirit we've got and make a note so we're gonna know how much of spirit left to be taken in this case we took 400 mils so we already took two thirds of uh, the spirit we planned to take so it's uh, 1.6 liter of spirit and now we have to decrease the flow twice so to do that we just simply close out tip just a little bit slight more and just measure how much we're gonna get in a 30 seconds time 